وصلي على محمد في الأولين وصلي على سيدنا محمد في الآخرين وصلي على سيدنا محمد في الملأ الأعلى إلى يوم الدين ما شاء الله لا قوة إلا بالله العلي العظيم ربي شرح لي صدري ويسر لي أمري وحل العغدة من لساني يفقه قولي إن شاء الله we will be reciting tonight the Nakhshali Adab which includes Khatma Khawajagan and includes Mawlid inshallah and uh, inshallah some nasheeds uh, to go with that and uh, of course inshallah we will talk about this we will talk about this auspicious night this special night to remind ourselves of how lucky and honored we are we are we are people who Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala ikhtassu bi rahmati wa Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala ikhtassu bi rahmatihi man yasha Allah madad yasfana wa yasfana inshaAllah for as thou stand Sayyid Shaykh Muhammad Nalim Adil Haqqani Sayyid Shaykh Muhammad Adil Rabbani we ask madad from our teachers because so that no one including ourselves don't you know our egos would like to oh any, any accomplishment if you say something nice put a flag I did this. <laughs> so we we start always with asking support and method from our teacher that way we are saying yes Sayyidi, we are sitting with your permission my sheikh i'm connecting my heart trying sitting with your permission to someone who is connected to Prophet and we're saying if something good comes <coughs> from what we're saying Alhamdulillah if something not good is from our own egos from our own selves we are not sheikhs or teachers not claiming even to be good students we're not claiming but we are sitting with the order of our sheikh and with his permission Subhanah, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala starts in Surah Al-Isra, Astaghfirullah, Billah. Subhanah al-lazhi asra bi'abdihi laylam min al-masjid al-haram ila al-masjid al-aqsa al-lazhi barakna hawlahu linuriyahu min ayatin innahu huwa al-sami'u al-basir Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, glory be to Allah. Allah is saying glory be to me. Subhanahu wa ta'ala. Praise be to me. For what? Alladhi <clears throat> asra. He took his beloved servant on this night and on a night journey to Jerusalem first. Bi'abdihi. Laylam min al-masjid al-haram min al-masjid al-aqsa. Ulama, they say that this bi'abdihi signifies the physicality and the soul of Prophet because Nabi he was Nabi before he came into this creation but Abd is the Abd, the Abd in Allah created in dunya with his physical and spiritual appearance so ulama say bi'abdihi signifies that this night journey happened with both physicality and <coughs> spirit uh, soul laila min al masjid al haram ila al masjid al aqsa alladhi barakna hawlahu li nuriyahu to show him our, our great signs our signs maybe allah signs and allah then ending the surah inna huwa as sami'u al basir he's saying don't use your mind in this instance here because he is seeing with allah's seeing and he is hearing with Allah's hearing. Sayyidina Muhammad It is not a matter to say how and what if and, and maybe no. Suspend your mind in this instance because this pertains to Allah's power. Allah. When Allah takes his servants, can anyone say how? How is this possible? The unbelievers 
when they heard this, this is another evidence that this was by physicality and by spirit, is that when the when Prophet ﷺ came and say that Muhani saw him, she says, Where are you going? He says, I'm going to tell them the kuffar of Quraysh. He said, They're not going to accept. Don't do it. And he insisted. And he said, he didn't even speak about the Mi'raj. He was saying just, I went from Mecca to Jerusalem in night and I came back. <laughs> if it was a ru'ya, if it was a vision, if it was a dream, why would the unbelievers have any issues with it? They dream, I can dream, you can dream that uh, you sleep not uh, all night, you sleep 10 minutes, half an hour sometimes, and you see yourself in uh, in another country. What's the big deal? Why are they going to object? There's no reason. The only reason they're objecting is because they understood what he's saying. He's saying, I went physically, body and soul, in a night, and I came back. They say, they say to Sayyidina Abu Bakr on this night, they say, we beat our camels for one month. <laughs> we beat our camels for one month to get there. And your companion here is saying, one night he went and came back. They, they thought, khalas, Islam is finished. <laughs> because no one is going to believe this. But look at someone who is witnessed that Jamal, that beauty. Someone who witnessed that Jalal, that majesty of Prophet Someone who is certain more than his own self about the, the truthfulness of that one. Sayyidina Abu Bakr. What did he say? He said, In kana qalahu faqad sadaq. SubhanAllah. He didn't say, tell me in details what happened, what exactly he's saying. Let me check. Let me come back to you. <laughs> he said, if he said it, whatever he said, he said it's, a, it's, a, it's a complete sign off, blank check. <laughs> if he said it, I accept. He's telling the truth. Salawatu Rabbi wa salam He is Siddiq al Akbar. Taslimiya, full Taslimiya to Prophet Full submission. They say Sayyidina Abu Bakr is Siddiq. Is someone Prophet said about if you want to look at the face of someone who died before he died, look at the face of Sayyidina Abu Bakr Siddiq. No existence, no ego, no I anymore. He sees Prophet, he hears Prophet وسلم, he feels Prophet وسلم, he nothing. And on the night when they left Mecca to Medina, they were thirsty. So Sayyidina Abu Bakr Siddiq went looking for, for something to drink and he found someone, a, a shepherd, and he took some milk from him and went to Prophet وسلم, and he, they were both thirsty. And he gave Prophet وسلم, to drink. And was looking at Prophet ﷺ. He said, "Sharib al Habib wa hatta tawid." He said, "The beloved drank until I, my thirst is gone." <laughs> Just looking at Prophet ﷺ, drinking quenched his his thirst. This is someone who's funny. <laughs> Sayyidina Abu Bakr. In this holy night, the night journey, is. A magnificent night of what? Of showcasing to the existence the magnificence of his Habib. <laughs> All this, if you read the hadith, when when Sayyidina when Sayyidina from from the from the start, they come and they prepare Prophet, <laughs> they open his chest, they fill it with Iman and Hikmah. They, they wash it with the ma of Zamzam. Then, he, as he rises to the Burak, the Burak shakes. Sayyidina, Sayyidina uh, Jibreel said, Uthbud Burak. Be firm. 
by Allah, there isn't anyone more beloved to Allah that will ever write you that, that Prophet. Ah. So you know who this one is. Then he takes him to Jerusalem. 124,000 souls of Ambiya. They say, Ambiya, khalas, finished. Who invited them to come to Jerusalem on that night and uh, on that magnificent celebration and honoring? 124,000 Nabi and, and Mursa from, from Sayyidina Adam till, till, till Prophet Muhammad وسلم, were waiting, lined up, waiting to pray behind that one. This is Isra and Mi'raj. This is before even heavens. Mm -hmm. And anyone still doubts the status of that one to his prophet. He's Imam of all Anbiya, Imam of Sayyidina Adam, of Sayyidina Ibrahim, of Sayyidina Nuh. He's the Imam of Sayyidina Musa. Then in the heavens, he was the Imam of all the angels. Allah does not inform the angels about what he's doing. That's why when he was, Sayyidina Jibreel was knocking, they say, who is with you? He said, some people say, our boy thala, as if you know, security guard. You know, does he have access? <laughs> it was our boy thala. Is it this night that he gets invited? <laughs> no one informed us. <laughs> this is the night. This is when we get to witness that beauty of Prophet. <laughs> you think there's anything more beautiful than Sayyidina Muhammad? <laughs> Habibul. For Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala's beloved, what kind of beauty is he dressed with? What kind of, of majesty is he dressed with? All the angels clamoring, they want to meet him. They want to be with him. They want to pray behind him. One, one, one heaven after another. Tashrif, honoring, ta'zeem, tawqeer, marhaban, anbiya, waiting for a marhaban. Welcome to you. No one in existence has had that honor. No one, not a Nabi, not an angel has been granted the nearness, that nearness, and that tashrif of Prophet <laughs> Every heaven, every heaven, meeting the Anbiya of that heaven, meeting the, the angels, and their leadings in the welcomed in every heaven until he reached until he reached Sidratul above all heavens, penetrating all heavens. Well, there's no time. They say when Prophet went on Isra and Mi'raj, his bed when he came back was still warm. Allah. <laughs> there's no time. That's why. Well, who is Samir al Basir? Don't use, mm. don't use your mind. Why Allah is in a place? Are we going to be like uh, some of our brothers saying that He's sitting uh, on a throne in a place? Is He, is Allah subject to time? Where did He meet Allah? Is can you say where is Qabr Qawsaini al Adnan? In what time? So, no takif. This Prophet and the Lord of creation bringing him to his presence. In a night of celebration where Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala showcasing to all existence the status and magnificence of his habib. When they reach Sidrat al-Muntaha, in the, how were we going to know all these things? How were we going to know his? Because if Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, this night didn't happen, someone will say, well, okay, maybe he is the Imam of Anbiya, but angels are higher rank than him. Until they reach Sidrat al-Muntaha, the farthest low tree, what happens there? 
Sayın Hacı Bril, Friz. Prophet Sallallahu Aleyhi ve Sellem said, that's how the Khalid, the friend, that's how the friend treats his friend. You're leaving now? You're stopping now? You're not coming? He said, oh, Prophet Sallallahu Aleyhi ve Sellem, this is my, <laughs> this is the, this is my limit. If I move, when I utter, I, I'll be, I'll cease to exist. This is not my maqam. This is not my station. I have not created, I have not been giving that permission. That's why we go back to when when the angels at every heaven saying, has he been sent to? Some of those people that that don't understand the importance of tawqir of ta'alim and nabi, they always read it in a negative way. They read it like, does he have clearance? <laughs> well, Sayyidina Jibreel didn't have clearance at Sidrat al Muntaha. Who has the clearance at Sidrat al Muntaha? This is your Nabi. It is said Sidrat al Muntaha is a tree that covers all the heavens. That's how big it is. All the heavens are covered. Above all the heavens, covering all of them. And uh, there's a big wali from Halab, Sheikh Abdullah Sirajuddin. He said, on every leaf of that tree, it was full of angels. They all came to, they want to see Prophet. And he say that tree when Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is awha ila abdihi ma awha. That's when Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala manifested on, onto that tree. It says that tree, nobody has seen that tree in, in such a beauty before that night. Allah gave it a special dress for that night. And all of the angels were waiting for Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, looking, looking to see him. So what is the reality? What kind of magnificence that Prophet ﷺ was dressed in? That his beauty beauty exceeds all, all of those angelic realm beauties that all the angels wanted to see him and meet him. This is our Nabi. And it's not too much. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala gives to whom he likes what he likes and he chose his habib he said that one is my beloved we are sinful ones and look what allah is giving to people even the kafir is he's giving he's giving them to live he's giving them to eat he's giving them to uh, have wealth he's giving them to what about if he's giving, if Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in his endless generosity giving, giving from this dunya to even people who don't accept him and believe in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Why is it too much for you to understand that the most beloved to him, what kind of generosity Allah is going to, to manifest on him? This is Sayyidina Muhammad. And we have to understand we are all beneficiaries of that connection to Prophet We as his ummah, we are all people who've been given much because of him. One instance that comes to mind is after Jerusalem, Prophet Sallallahu was offered two drinks, wine and milk. And Sayyidina Muhammad chose milk. And Sayyidina Jibreel says to him, you have chosen fitra. Mm. He said to him, had you, had, had you made the choice of wine, your nation was going to become like the Christians. Mm. Mm. If you think that Prophet Sallallahu Prophet Sallallahu has no relevance or importance, one choice. He made a choice that affected Muslims from his time until Judgment Day affected the outcome of our existence with one choice. Salawatu Rabbi wa One drink or two. 
you choose choose this cup or that cup by making the 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 choice he saved his ummah the right choice he saved his ummah from fitan from confusion from adhan allah maybe having uh, wrong beliefs mm. one choice sayyidina muhammad and if anybody has doubt that sayyidina muhammad is still relevant today and still helping his ummah mm -hmm. and still guiding his ummah mm -hmm. and still a mercy to his ummah and they say that prophet وسلم, the prophets after they leave dunya they can affect they can do anything these same people read the story of Isra and Mi'raj and they read the story of Sayyidina Musa when Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala when Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala ordered us to, to pray 50 times. Mm -hmm. Sayyidina Musa died 4,000 years ago, 3,000 years ago. Left this world. The physical death. When we talk about Prophet's death, we talk about the physical death. Because بَلْ أَحْيَاءٌ عِنْدَ رَبِّهِ يُرْزَقُونَ مِنْ بَابِ أَوْلَى they are higher than martyrs. Allah. And Allah said about martyrs that they are alive. Allah. For us, they are alive. So Sayyidina Musa was the reason that instead of us praying 50 times, mm -hmm. we pray five. Mm -hmm. and he, he helped the Ummah of Sayyidina Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. Was he a benefit of benefit to us? <laughs> yes. If it wasn't for Sayyidina Musa, someone who passed away 3,000 years ago, if it wasn't for him, we'd be praying 50 times because Prophet is not going to go back. Salawatu <laughs> Rabbi Ali, he's too shy and he's, too, he's in full submission to his Lord. Allah said 50, he was coming back to tell his Ummah 50. 50. 50 prayers. Like five prayers and <laughs> <laughs> Allah forgive us all. <laughs> we are all benefiting from Sayyidina Musa till today, every day. How come our brothers don't say they can't benefit you? Sayyidina Musa, he's benefit. He taught us, mashallah, you know, most Muslims, Baqiyat Salihat. Subhanallah, alhamdulillah, wa la ilaha illallah, wa Allahu akbar. Sayyidina Ibrahim, he said, Aqri ummataka minni salam to prophets. He said, send your ummah from me salams when he met him in the seventh heaven. And what we say, we say, ala Sayyidina Ibrahim wa ala nabiyyina salam. We answer the salam. And wa akhbirhum. And let them know that, that heaven Ha, is has fertile soil mm -hmm. and the seeds the trees to plant in it are subhanallah walhamdulillah wa la ilaha illallah Allah, wa akbar who informed us about this sayyidina ibrahim <laughs> we don't want to make it too long inshallah we want to uh, read the uh, do the khatam inshallah and, and read the uh, mawlid in this celebration but we are reminding ourselves to be grateful on this night to ask forgiveness in our uh, uh, naqshbandi part of the awrad of this month in rajab for those who for those uh, people with high himma and high faith allah grant them they wake up two hours before tahajjud as part of the awrad <laughs> before Fajr prayer and you're supposed to stand and take three steps and then read the dua oh Allah I'm coming to you acknowledging that I am sinful acknowledging that I'm worthless acknowledging that I'm heedless acknowledging that all my deeds are zero I have never done anything fully for you it's a long dua but I'm summarizing. And that, Ya Rabbi, I'm not claiming to come to you from any door except from the door of sinful ones. He says, if you have two doors, one the door for those sinful servants and a door for your true servants, I'm coming to you from the door of sinful ones. 
And I am coming to you right now as if I've never been Muslim, as if I've never been <laughs> Mu'min, as if I've never done a good deed. Nothing. <laughs> and I'm saying, Ashhadu an la ilaha illallah wa ashhadu anna Muhammadan abduhu wa rasuluhu. إقام الصلاة وإتاء الزكاة وصوم رمضان وحج البيت حق آمنا بالله وملائكته وكتبه ورسله وباليوم الآخر وبالقدر خيره وشره. I'm declaring from now as if I don't have anything that I'm becoming Muslim now, يا رب. I'm making intention that from now until my last breath, I'm intending to live as a true servant to. This is all we can do. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala accept us. Amen. May Allah accept our istighfar Amen. and grant us to be true servants before we leave this dunya. Amen. Time is short, even if we live 100 years, even if we live 150 years. There is no time. May Allah forgive us. Amen.